No sooner has Frontier Developments released Update 8 along with its optimization to the game of Elite Dangerous Odyssey and its quality of life improvements, additional missions, new engineers, etc, etc. They're hot on the heels of that with Update 9 and a teaser of what's going to be included. Let's take a look. Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Yes, hot on the heels of Update 8 are more improvements in the form of Update 9. With these, we're going to see more performance optimizations as well. Engineers across the team, from render to AI to low-level game systems, have been working hard on optimization. As part of Update 8, extensive work has been carried out on Odyssey's light and shadow improvements to glass and skin and particles. But it still needs more work, and more work will be addressed in Update 9, which is great. Now also, we're also going to see some upcoming updates and content. Now they're at varying stages of progress, as they say, and to be fair, you know, I am quite looking forward to a little bit more content. I haven't been too overwhelmed with the missions they put in. The smuggling mission, the collection, and the delivery missions in regards to ground-based missions. But, you know, if they link them all together and then put some more things on top, then things could be fine. One thing I am looking forward to, and that is something to behold, is the Twin Seat Combat SRV. Now this SRV, you've just seen the top turret we've got by there, looks like some sort of like plasma weapon, God knows what it is. Could it be engineered? We just don't know. But they're saying to stay tuned to the channels to see if there's anything coming up in the next couple of weeks. People who have been out there and have mined the system and think they've got a picture or a concept piece of material on this SRV are all over the internet. Is it anything to find? No, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But from the look of that one particular picture, there's a great big honking space gun on it. And as it's a combat SRV and it's a two seater, that's fine by me. Hopefully in the future updates, we'll get a hauling or an SRV with a trailer on the back. That's all I'm really asking for. Now, as I mentioned, I've been less than impressed with the new missions that they've put in, in regards to the delivery, collection and smuggling missions. I was really expecting subterfuge and sneaking around, but they do say that further mission additions and improvements are on the way. We continue to expand player missions and their complexity, striving to make each mission more diverse and dynamic. Well, let's face it, you've got the foundation, you couldn't get any lower than what you've got and what you've added in, because they really were quite simplistic, to be fair. As we've previously mentioned, we'll continue to work on this. Below are just some of the examples of what mission features we'll be adding in Update 9. And it's just a snapshot, but they say mission contacts at point of interest. Similar to the mission contacts recently added in Update 8, we'll be adding new scenarios and related missions to help or meet individuals outside the confines of settlement. Some of these individuals might need the player's help to get their ship running, or may even be waiting for a courier to complete the next step of a sensitive delivery. Great, let's get a bit of complexity in there. Settlement mission providers, as we have social spaces, some of the inhabitants at a settlement may also have the request they can make of the player. Yeah, use the bars, use the communal areas. Go and meet someone in a bar, CD corner. Hey, do you wanna buy some push? Great, hey, go and get me some of that Lazarus or whatever else is knocking about at the moment. This is the sort of stuff as what we want, in my opinion anyway. So these settlement mission providers will be hanging out in the social spaces. Great, they need a team looking on the missions to add that added level of complexity, in my opinion. The next point they mention is around a multi-limpet controller. The multi-limpet controller is a new module that works in addition to an existing limpet controllers, allowing players to deploy multiple limpet types using a single module slot. This new controller is not intended to replace the existing dedicated limpet controllers and will be balanced against these within the game, allowing basic use of multiple limpet types without a dedicated slot for each. Great, so you can have a repair and a refueling limpet. Wouldn't that be good? 
as well as actually having some storage to put your limpets in. That could be great and really open up some of the smaller ships to more, I don't know, rescue, search and rescue and more clandestine areas of the game, which I think is great. Now with update 8, we all had a damn good look around some of the Wells class carriers that had interiors added to them and different modules, the bar, Apex, Interstellar, etc, etc. But now this is coming to carriers and also a view from the carrier bridge that was teased by Frontier on their website. They state as they previously announced that they're bringing interiors to player owned fleet carriers just as they did for megaships. Well, Wells class megaships in update 8. As you might imagine, this poses a greater challenge due to the number of variables. These include allowing players to transport multiple other commanders and their ships while existing in the same social spaces. Though they are pleased to say that they're making strong progress with this. The new optional services will be available to carrier owners as well, which would be great. So, you know, what are these new optional services? Uh, and they'll share these more to launch. But these are not going to be in update 9. These will be a little bit more advanced than that. And when looking at that particular picture, I can't help but look back at the old version of Elite cockpits. I don't know, perhaps it's just me. I just think that it's definitely channeling that aspect of Elite. I just saw that and while I was walking the dog, I thought, hmm, seem to be channeling that. Anyway, it's good. So it means you can see your carrier jump now from the inside of the bridge and not being locked away in the cargo hold like some sort of migrant um, smuggling their way into a different destination, which is what it seems. It's just tucked away. You can't explore, you spent all this money, you know, but hopefully all this is gonna change with this particular update, which is great. And they also say as well, there's gonna be future more bug fixes, more tweaks, more quality of life as well, coming in update nine and future updates, which is good. This is what we wanna hear. Anyway, I've been Ricardo, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.